Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another tropical franchise mode episode. And in the previous episode, we did create this extended area for the Indian elephants. Oh gosh, look at these two. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, they are just so majestic, so gorgeous. Amazing animals, they really are. But yeah, they finally have the habitat that they deserve. We still have a lot of work to do on this other size. We do have a little bit of a guest flow right over here. I was actually thinking to maybe also add, like we have one more vista point, one over here. I thought maybe we can hide one as well right over here in the rock formations or something like that. If we just change the focal item to maybe like this mud bath, then we can just hide it away in these rocks right over here. So that is hopefully going to help with attracting some more guests around the whole habitat because that would be just super amazing if they will be using that all. Feeding station cannot be reached by the keepers. Oh yes, that's right, that's this one. I really don't understand why that is, you know what? I'm just going to like remove these rocks right over here. Is that going to help? I actually don't know. It is accessible, so let's just wait and see how that is going to go oh fennec fox how many fennec foxes do we have in here right now like do we have too many Ooh, <laughs> i do think that maybe at this point yeah they become a little bit less happy with the amount of animals in here so we actually need to make sure that we do something about that there is even one that is in first. Oh gosh, there are so many here. I actually didn't notice because they were all sleeping. So, okay, wait. Let's go to this tab right over here. And then check the Fennec Fox the maturity. So we're gonna have the oldest ones right over here. I can rehome you. And I do want to do that because that is... Oh gosh, I need to go back here. Because I like that idea for, for that Fennec Fox. So this one is also becoming pretty old, but it's not like super old yet. They, these are not the oldest one yet. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? These two are the alpha male and female. So I think maybe Nuram and then maybe just have select five in total. Let's just do that. Let's just make sure that these guys have the amount of space to uh, to reproduce and make a big family again. I feel like we achieved definitely a big family in here, but now it is time to make sure that it's not too busy in here anymore. Should we just keep maybe only... No, we can, we can keep some family members. I think that's all right. In this episode, we are going to build a habitat for the common wombat, which is going to be the very first time ever that I'm creating a common walnut habitat, so I'm super excited for that. I did get these two out of the habitat because there were just too many binturongs in there. And I was actually thinking like, we can sell these guys for quite some money. How about these guys? Well, they are not that much worth, but you know what? I'm going to quick trade these guys for, for one time because that is going to give us quite some money something that we do need because we still have that 50k loan to repay and i already feel it coming that <laughs> when i will be wielding the common woman habitat we probably will need another uh, loan again but that will be for later where <laughs> it's like uh, it is what it is i guess we just probably need to to get another loan again but we will sh sh we shall wait and see so right over here i wanted to check the keepers real quick because we have one keeper here at the bin to run habitat but you are not completely trained so hopefully if we train you a little bit more you will be less uh, or having a less high workload we're gonna wait and see and else we probably need to get another keeper in here and then we also have Deku, which is from the elephant habitat. And we do have two. You have a low workload. How is that even possible? 
We have one with a high workload and one with a low workload. Like, one is just working a lot faster than the others. We also have a thing with the educators. There is one educator with a high workload. And you know what? We can also train this one here as well. Now, we do have these zoo tours, and I was complaining about that in uh, the previous episode because of the tour rating. And someone did mention in the comments, like, um, you should actually try to add an intermission point at the end of the tour before the tour ends. And I had that, and then I changed that because I was like, Meh. it's a bit weird to have this intermission point and then the end of the tour. Uh, but um, I, I do, I do want to try this out. So if you go to the tour rating, we now have a half a star tour rating and a guest well-being of very, 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 very low. <laughs> so, okay, we're just going to change these two. We're going to have the intermission point at the end of the tour. And then we're going to see how this tour, I am not assuming that it's going to change anytime soon, but we are definitely going to see how that is going. Maybe that is the solution to just have it at the end of the tour. I'm not entirely convinced about that, but who are we to not try that out and see how that was go? Oh, Chipo, you are going to grow up. Oh, our beautiful albino gorilla. It's time for you to grow up. Oh, we can enjoy your beautiful face one more time. <laughs> that was a weird slow motion jump. <laughs> that was not me adjusting my my footage here, guys. That was the actual jump. It's so silly. I, I hope that Frontier will ever change that because, I don't know, it just looks a little bit odd. We still have so much work to do as well here in this area, by the way. We do need to add like one or maybe two more animals or like primates monkeys whatever but i do think this area is going to look really cool once that is set up but we are like uh, my goal really is to finish this one up this one feels a little bit like this series feels a little bit too long for me so i feel like a franchise mode series should be around 15 episodes but this one definitely is a lot longer so yeah we are definitely going to try and wrap this series up slowly like it's not like we're going <laughs> to wrap it up anytime soon we're gonna have probably some orangutans somewhere over here in between of the chevalsky's horse and the elephants well i actually also mentioned that i wanted to add another animal right over here in this area Probably going to have one more animal in here in South America. Going to finish this, this monkey roll with the gorillas. Maybe some bonobos or like uh, chimpanzees or something like that. We still have some space here for, for one, probably an African animal. Maybe also one African animal right over here. So we have like this nice African area on this side. Then we have uh, Australia here where we're going to add the common wombat in. And then we're going to nicely connect this all and uh yeah we're, we are able to start a new zoo with a different theme we have a lot of butterflies giving some offspring but we don't have to worry about oh look at our money go holy cow that's amazing pay off pay off pay off because all that interest we do not want to uh want to work with that so what do we have here can't find an accessible research center Oh, how is that going, by the way? Fat research. Look, we have some research of the butterflies. They're almost done, so we don't have to worry about that. But because then we only have two more animals to research. So I think then we have enough research centers. The feeding station cannot be reached. So the Siamang feeding station is still um, not being filled. Seriously, like, look how much space there is here. It's ridiculous that a keeper would not be able to reach this i i don't really understand that i i can maybe just check the oh gosh <laughs> okay at least something has changed here with the traversable area if we check the staff traversable area here are you now able to reach that it's so silly it's all because of this beam but i don't want to change that beam 
are there like a lot of rocks in here? Like the grass should not be an issue. Like I don't really feel like the rock should be an issue here. Like it doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, wait, maybe this one. Maybe we can move this one slightly to the side, but I feel like it's just a beam here. And I'm going to move you to this. Oh gosh, okay. Pay attention to the terrain. Gonna be a mess. One, two, three. Boom. Oh goodness, what the hell happened here? This is so bad. All right, let's just have one more check right over here. Oh wait, the well. Oh gosh, okay. I don't <laughs> know what happened here with the welfare, but it's all right. Okay, staff traversal area. It should now be able to reach this. So if I now click that, now it says inaccessible for the animals. You kidding me? That is so dumb. I'm so frustrated about this. I if I just move it now one more time, I'm I'm just not going to touch it. Okay, it's 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 accessible. It's accessible via this, and staff is able to fill that. Okay, I don't want to look at this corner any time uh, anymore in this series. <laughs> I just hope. That it will be done now and fixed. Oh, man. I do love the audio of these guys so much. It's just so extremely cool. Oh, let's go back to the tours. Is there a way that it might already show us if the tours are fixed right now? I really just don't want to forget about it. Okay, so view tour rating. Okay, no. The tour rating is still the same, but it could be that maybe there there still needs to be a group doing the tour from the start, for example, before it's like reset. I, I don't dare to say that. Oh, look at our money go. That is freaking amazing because that is going to mean that we do not have to, to get like any other other loan to build this common Walmart habitat. So you know what? Without further talking, let's just go and start building because we are going to add the common wombats somewhere over here. And then we're gonna have um, maybe the wallaby or like the, the kangaroo somewhere over here as well. Maybe we can just connect it like that. And then we don't have to worry about any African animal here. I, I do feel like we should add one African animal right over here and then maybe just the wallaby and then the uh, common wombat right over here or something like that. But first things first, let's go and start building the common wombat habitat.
It actually is so nice to be able to add another animal finally in our Australian area. We have the cassowary here, which we would almost forget about because they are just so far away in our zoo and, and like there are no other habitats around it. Just look at them. They're so, so beautiful. But I do think I did receive a message here of a cassowary growing up, but am I looking over it? I <laughs> see so many of the uh, of the butterflies here. So, uh, well, you know what? We are just going to click <laughs> the habitat itself because that is going to make things a lot easier. Okay, so these guys, you have Yarly and Monty, and these two are probably about to grow up. Yes, they are, but we have the aging on two and a half speed, so it probably doesn't go super fast, but yeah, I, oh man. Okay, it's good to be back in Australia, but let me just show you guys what I have done with the common wombat habitat. So right over here, we have some planters, and then we have a little bit of the same idea right over here with like a cute little viewing gallery. Only this habitat is a lot smaller. So this is the part where you basically look down into the habitat and you can also just walk here just like these guests are doing. Looking into the habitat, there's some water here for them to drink or to cool, cool down in. Are you sleeping in the water? Well, <laughs> if that is what you want to do, then uh, or just laying down in the water. I do hope you're not going to sleep there because that would be just super silly. But yeah, we have a little river going uh, through here. I thought this was just a nice extra touch here with these uh, Australian tree trunks. We also used them for the edge right over here of the fences. And then the water stops right over here. Actually could make it less less water. Like they obviously don't need any water in the habitat. But as of right now, I think it's totally fine. You can have two adults and one baby in one habitat. So it doesn't have to be a super big habitat or anything like that. We obviously have a toy right over here to hopefully attract them as well to this little corner. Just look at this. This looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, I do really like it. I also like the different height elevations here. And uh, we, we split it off with also these Australian tree trunks right over here. And then right over here, the guests can also uh, stay dry if it rains. And then go in here, have some education about the cute little common wombat. And then look into the habitat. We have a uh, <laughs> smelly watermelon right over here. We have this little rubbing pad. And we also have this little burrow right over here, which I do hope they are able to use. I think so. Yes. Okay, there is already one inside of here wait no we do not enter it like that we enter the camera view like this oh look at that oh <laughs> gosh there are some walls sticking through but i guess it doesn't really matter for the burrow because the burrow can be used like it doesn't count any traversal area i mean uh fennec fox is about to have offspring oh that's just perfect now i was thinking to have like these these webcams here maybe connected to the burrows Ah, but they're broken, they're broken. But someone did comment, like, you know what, what I do because they are so broken, just make a screenshot from the look of the burrow and then just put the screenshot up on that billboard. That's actually a very smart idea. Then you avoid these weird glitching things with your green and, and grass and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's been in the game for so long and I, I don't really understand why those kind of things are still not being fixed. But it is what it is, I guess. So yeah, I, I think the, a great solution is to just make a screenshot from the uh, Dura or how it, it looks. And then, well, it doesn't really move, but it, it has the same idea, I guess. We have a little small gate right over here and then this one is going to this particular staff and keeper's hut we already have a keeper in this area so they are able to use that particular keeper's area to, to feed these animals in here but yeah it's actually a quite a nice little area i do really like how this has turned out i actually <laughs> now i'm building 
I doubt, like, I'm planning to only add one more animal, but maybe, just maybe, I will be adding one more extra Australian animal. That would be just super amazing. Okay, this is the first time we build a habitat for you guys, so I just want to see you up close because you have such a happy face. It's like they're always smiling. And they're just so beautiful. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, this is probably... Is this the only traversable area? Oh no, you can go over it. I was a little bit worried that maybe you had to go around here, but you are able to climb over it here. So that's just perfect. <laughs> and exactly how I wanted it to be. Wait, are you going to make some noise? Oh, you're so, so cute. <laughs> All right, let's have a quick look right over here because... Oh, these two? Let's first check the jeans. I got a golden one for some conservation credits from someone else from the market. And this one is from the Frontier Zoo. They have a 55% chance of offspring. So we actually could work on that. I think by now our vets are pretty much done with the research. So that's just perfect. Uh, wait, we still have one. You are just researching the swallowtail. You know what? I'm just going to put you onto the common wombat. Where is the common wombat? There you are. So I'm going to research the common wombat right over here. And as we do not have enough research sensors, well, you know what? I am going to put you on uh, doing some research anyways. I did hide a vista point somewhere over here also to try and attract some more animals. I think it's somewhere here in the wall hidden away. But... I, the gas flow is all right. It's not like super busy on this side. Oh, we do have some more fat research. That is really fast. Oh, okay. That's the swallowtail. Okay. I am curious if the tour is already reset or anything like that. But to be honest, I have been building a lot on pause mode. So it might not be a reset just yet. So first things first, let's make sure that the Malaysian taper is happy. We have nine otters in this habitat and um, we have two young ones i think that's totally fine we have our money is doing pretty well so i'm going to raise a this one i'm not going to raise it all <laughs> at once because that is just going wrong i guess you are also pregnant already but we have a little female right over here so i'm gonna put you in the training center because there are just too many adults in this habitat. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you go, go go and have a nap. Do we have some otters swimming? <gasps> there are so many. It feels like more than nine, <laughs> but I guess it's all right. Look at this beauty. Okay, wait, let's check real quick. Yeah, you, you you can never have too many Asian otters in here. So that's just perfect. And they are enjoying this water area so, so much. And look at all these guests right over here. Enjoying the viewing gallery as well. That is amazing. But why are there so many guests here? Gosh, it's actually such a bottleneck. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many. Why? Oh, it's so busy here, but it's going to be fine, I guess. So, okay, the cassowary now grew up. The They both grew up, so we both need to put them up for adoption as well. But that's going to be fine. We now have a female and a male still left in here. What do we have here? Oh, man, these butterflies. Can't we then turn this off? Oh, I wish, like, why do we only have the habitats here? Like, I really, really need these messages to go from the uh like the golden poison frog and everything everything is being sold isn't it oh not for wait no that's not the training center oh we have quite some animals in here but at least not the butterfly so we can quick trade these and we are on three thousand more we do not have any loans anymore so i'm actually quite proud of that i i do really like it if we can challenge ourselves to not get any loan anymore in the future that is definitely going to be a challenge but i'm going to try and do my best for that uh water treatment water treatment well we can just 
uh, request a mechanic for that. There's another one right over here. Request a mechanic. Okay. <sighs> These... <laughs> I, I don't like that. But we are going to check how is our tour rating. Tour rating is... <sighs> Did it go up a, a slightly little bit? I actually do not know. I don't dare to say. I do not dare to take any conclusions just yet. I feel like we we maybe should give it a little bit more time. Like it's a very, very long tour. So maybe over time. But we do now have the intermission at the end. So this, where is the intermission point? Here is the last intermission point. And the last, like the last habitat was right over here at the Binturongs. And this is the end of the tour. So if this is correct, like I did see a lot of people also saying in the comments like that this worked for them to change that. Then it, it's, it gotta change at some point, right? Then it, it, it gotta be good. I really hope so. And else it's just bugged. As I said, like it's completely bugged. I feel like it's just broke. <laughs> just like the intermission point. Oh, look at you. Like the messages you get, like the intermission point is not close enough to the species. Like what species? It's an intermission point. So it doesn't make any sense to me. Oh man, can we please turn that off? A uh, dangerous fighting at the Siamangs. What is that all about? That was not what we wanted. We wanted to have a big family in here. We can have a big adult group. Does that maybe mean we can go to the Zupedia from here, right? Zupedia map. Maybe two males. Uh, no, five males are up to five females. Mm, yeah, a dominant mate made a pair leading the family. There sh should not be an issue unless they're just fighting for the alpha status, but... Oh, look at you. I don't know. It might be all right. I... I think we don't really have to do anything. Do we want to... What are you doing there? <laughs> Can we just... You have a really low welfare. You have... Is that... Wait, what? Do you guys have a good welfare? You have a good welfare. You have a good welfare. Okay, that was just probably some kind of error here. Okay, that should be good now. Can we reset that bobbin thing? Drum? I don't know how it's called. I, I'm, I'm not able to select it for some reason. No, it's not working from here, unfortunately. So it, it will be it will be hanging there forever, you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. It's such a mess. Oh, gosh. Oh, a butterfly got some more offspring. Yay! Okay, we're gonna dismiss all these messages here about the tours. So, yeah. This is now our Australian area. The path is going to right over here. So it's going around and then to right over here. So yeah, maybe one, maybe two more animals in the Australian area. And we definitely need to uh, fix this. And, and maybe also create an area where we can... Like, I'm not going to do a reptile house. We did a really cool reptile house in our African mini zoo. So if you want to have inspiration for a reptile house... Definitely go and check out that series because it's it's the reptile house I'm mostly proud of, like the best reptile house I've ever made. But that also means that I'm not going to build one for this series, but we will be building one for the next series probably. So I'm just uh, trying to uh, to switch it a little bit. But yeah, these guys were definitely also for like the the income to get to earn a little bit more money, and they definitely do a great job especially now with the butterflies but we gotta wait and see how we are going to add these exhibits somewhere maybe just a small little building or, or anything like that so we can keep them and earn a little bit more money but also not need to create some kind of reptile house for it but yeah oh man it's gonna be so exciting to see a common wombat baby in here hopefully that will happen very very soon do let me know of course what you guys think of this cute common wombat and the habitat that we built for them leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys